Hello everybody and welcome to the demo for Skyward Dream, which uh, based on the email I received, it's a Metroidvania. It looks kind of like a first person Metroidvania. I hope it's not like a precision platformer because I suck at those. But the email asks for my honest feedback, of which I am more than happy to provide. So... Yeah. Okay, I thought like something was not happening, but okay. All right, we're we're good to go. Beginning our adventure. I imagine I would completely butcher that name if I try to pronounce it. Well, that's who the game is by. Let's do. Oh, let's let's go with that. I wouldn't like that alarm. I actually try to keep my alarm, um, actually I wake up before it, but I try to keep my alarm whenever possible to actually be the voice of something. I mean, it's AI, you know, crappy Samsung voice stuff, but I keep it a voice because they say, like, in who's they, I don't know, internet doctors or whatever, so WebMD, I don't know, not WebMD. Um, but anyway, but I read somewhere once that uh, waking up to the sound of a voice, like somebody saying good morning, is actually pretty, you know, pretty good uh, to start the day, so uh, I try to do that. This person has two identical photographs in their apartment, uh, bedroom, or, or whatever it is. I mean, they're also sleeping, obviously. Alright, seems kind of weird sandbags this seems like I'm walking into like some kind of war zone that's kind of messed up at least that's what I would think in a dream world such as this yeah, jumping feels pretty responsive and good thus far Ooh, I can shift well, I mean, I can I can sprint. Uh, it looks like you can sprint for long enough. I'm I, yeah, actually, it feels like you can sprint forever. So we'll just we'll just do that for the the entire time. Oh, I thought that was the ground. Uh, super weird. This reminds me of those games that have you, like, climbing upwards. Uh, except for instead of climbing up, I'm obviously climbing down or sideways. Run, jump, wall run. Sounds simple. Yeah. Apparently it's not simple. Okay, because there's this gap that um, it doesn't feel like you should have a gap there. Uh, yeah, see, that's that's just kind of messing with my brain. Uh, there's this giant gap where the signs no longer are. So it doesn't seem like I should be wall running there. So I, I don't know. I, I, I think that's something that might uh, hopefully get changed over time. I feel like it could be better, better done. Uh, and the wall run just kind of seems to be like this. There's no like downward sliding on it. You're just, um, you're just continually running on it. Uh, so I don't know. I, I wall running is always like one of those hard ones. I think to figure out because it doesn't really make a whole lot of sense with the whole physics 
and stuff because it's 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 something that's almost certainly not going to happen. Am I supposed to dash twice? What is aim and dash? I'm aiming and dashing. Okay, maybe 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 I'm like not supposed to go that way. Uh, nope, this is where I came from. Yeah, I know you want me to aim and dash, but every time I do this, I do it too quickly. Alright. Man, I am not digging this aim and dash at all. This slow motion here kind of messes you up because you don't need it. You you know, like maybe the very first time or maybe uh, when you start holding. Because I'm not doing anything like I'm I'm not even touching anything except for the mouse. Uh, but I wonder if the slow motion would make more sense if you did it when you're holding. And you have it hold down the dash button because the problem is. That doesn't that doesn't happen and your dash is not very your dash isn't very far at all it's kind of very disappointing and this whole slow motion thing that I have to do uh, to get close enough to it yeah this this I'm gonna say is um, very frustrating And there's probably only so many times I can make myself do this before I just give up on it. Uh, the dash is just too weak. It turns, you know, it turns into just very much a type of required precision. And the fact that I have, you know, like, can I maybe, maybe if I go this way, it won't turn in. Oh, it's going to do the slow thing every time. That is not cool. I guess if I jump upwards, um... Nope. Yeah, definitely not having a good time with this right here. This is... kind of ridiculous. I mean, I'm also not particularly good at precision platforming, so... But I guess it should not really be a surprise to anyone. Alright. Made it. Thank goodness. I didn't want to be a quitter, you know, but... Oh, that's cool. Have us land on a spot. Oh my god. Come on. Come on, legs. But yeah, have us... Hey, that should still count. I, I like that we're falling. Uh, okay. Am I supposed to go up? Jeez. Alright. I don't... I don't under... I don't get it. I don't, I'm not really sure, like, where it is that I'm supposed to be going. Uh, because I just kind of crashed to the ground there. I thought maybe I'm supposed to kind of hit that wall and run. Uh, if I hit it and try to go up, it doesn't seem to do anything. 
My dude has very, very weak legs. I can only assume he has baby legs. Or she, whatever the case may be. Alright, there we go, we got it finally. Can't escape the dream, even by jumping off the edge. That's kind of a nightmare at this point, though. This sleep paralysis, I've only had that once or twice in my life. Oh, you are here, Marilus. I've been eagerly anticipating your arrival. Judging by the sheer terror etched across your face, it's evident you were unsure where you are, right? Well, I'm, ass Try to move I'm assuming. Like my bedroom. Your body is ensnared by the very chemicals designed to immobilize your muscles during the delicate dance of sleep. Delightful, isn't it? You might feel like you can grow, but it's all in your imagination. A realm where everything resides. This realm is a grand illusion, painted by the worst strokes of your fatigued and overworked mind. Irregular sleep, those marathon shifts, the ceaseless toil. Sounds familiar? No need to answer. Your mouth is also on a break. As for my identity, some call me the sleep paralysis demon. Others have a cosmic abductor, the shadow to a few. Address me as you wish. I'm just a manifestation of your tired mind. Fear not. I'm not here to harm you. I'm not even physically real. Even if I could hurt you, there's no point. You, my dear, are excelling at self-inflicted torment. Think about it for a moment. The grind, the agony. Is it all really worth it? What if I told you there's a bright future for you? But you must traverse your unique path. Believe in it. Pursue the dream that dances within your consciousness. What scares you from embracing the extraordinary? Just remember, all you have to do is take the leap. Keep that in mind. Just make that jump. Okay, that was a really long um, monologue of sorts. I guess it wasn't really a monologue, but it was a very long little little chat there, um, which uh, I walk away from that feeling like apparently I am stuck in some kind of dream state because I'm tired and my brain hurts. And that is some sort of nefarious being. Oh, man, this, this dude and his very weak baby legs. Scoured dream, a tale of a little baby's legs who tries in vain to make jumps and do things, but they can't because their baby legs are too small. Oh, what? I can't dash again? I can't dash anymore? Like, I've forgotten how? Ooh, I always hate that. It's a it's a mechanic in games that I've never quite understood, where you play up to a certain point, you've done a lot of things, you have experienced various levels, and then all of a sudden the game is like, oh, you know what? That thing that you learned to do a couple of minutes ago, you don't remember how to do it. I don't know, I, I, just, I just feel like that's kind of a weird choice. Um, I'm sure there are reasons. I'm trying to do this too quickly, I guess. Make it a little bit more cautiously. I mean, overall, I, I think the platforming and the level design is pretty cool. Um, I've enjoyed uh, running around and looking... I think they've done a good job of making it feel very much like a dreamlike state. Uh, there's a lot of weird stuff going on. 
It has a nice kind of filter to it that looks... You know... Hazy, like it might be in a, a dream world, I guess. Oh, okay, so I'm... I'm here. Can I run on this wall? I cannot run on this wall. I guess I should have known better. It would have made sense to me. And it's also not the right way. Well. I don't know if I'm supposed to jump on the trees. Or the branches. Really regretting, not regretting, but missing the uh, the dash that we had earlier because the dash was kind of cool. It wasn't like super easy to do, but would have been cool to to have it back. I don't I don't know why that um, I don't know why it's not here anymore. I've done it. Huzzah! Take me back to the creepy voice that will tell me some more stuff in a very, very long monologue. You know, maybe. Maybe they won't. Maybe they will. Who knows? Oh, yep. We're back to sleep paralysis. What kind of cool shindig is this guy going to inform us about this time? It's quite nice, my dude. I had a good time. Where did all your abilities vanish to? Well, that was just a glimpse of your untapped potential. But remember, you must earn it. Dedicate yourself. Traverse your path and seize control over your life. Let me share a little secret. The tale of those chemicals immobilizing your body is a widespread misconception. People tend to believe anything these days. Truth be told, it's me who induces the paralysis, preventing you from taking that sleep-induced leap out your window. That would be rather tragic. As for the title, they bestowed upon me a demon, an abductor, a nefarious force, and pure nonsense. I am just a keeper, a guardian of your mind. But above all that, the rest, my child, is yours to unravel. Fear not, I'll be your guide, as I always have been. Now, go. Your task is simple. Run. Just run. All right, well, I guess we're um, moving on to another little journey here. Into the deep. Oh, is it an ocean-themed level? A sprint's been unlocked. Ah, oh, look at us remembering things again. Yay! Yeah, this is definitely something I would consider a precision platformer. Uh, more than anything. I feel like I need to go back and read my email, because, um... Nope, yeah, the email straight up says, a first-person platforming Metroidvania-like game. I don't see the Metroidvania aspect, to be honest. Uh, I, I definitely, you know, view it more as a first-person precision platformer, almost parkour in nature, but not quite. Either way, it's a pretty cool idea. Like, I mean, son of a... <sighs> I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm enjoying the experience. Uh, I, I, I did find some of the jumping so far to be a little bit 
like this little spot right here. I don't know. I I stick to the adventures of baby Ma baby leg man. Adventures of baby legs. That's that's the title for this game for for the remainder of the experience. The adventure of baby legs. I'm not serious, but I mean, it feels like your dude is is essentially just baby legs. He just he doesn't have the jumping strength to really kind of jump very far and it definitely kind of comes back to bite uh, bite you a couple of times in the playthrough uh, I, so I, I definitely feel like uh, the jumping could be a little bit better because it even though I'm sprinting it doesn't really feel like I'm I'm going very fast it doesn't seem like it's making that much of an impact with the actual jump I, maybe it's because of the baby legs I don't I don't actually know but The, the dash, uh, haven't been incredibly impressed with the dash. Um, I feel like it could be something that uh, as time progresses, my skill with it will perhaps get better. I think I could probably do that now because I can dash. Right? Because I can assume this is where I needed to go because I went the other way last time. Seems like I was correct. But anyway, I feel like that dash will be something that um, would get... Oh my god. Very tiny little mess up. Anyway, I feel like I would probably get better uh, over time with the dash. But, you know, at the very, very minimal look at it, I don't like it. Like, the dash just doesn't feel good. Uh, and this is where... I get a little frustrated with this sprint jump, because it feels like I'm really not, you know... I just don't make enough speed with these jumps uh, to easily get as far as I feel I should. I'm assuming I'm going to that red spot over here. Like the ground, the door? Yeah, all right, figured it out. I assume that's what I was doing. But yeah, anyway, um, I finished it. Congratulations to me. I mean, overall, like, I think it's a pretty fun experience. It's a fun game. Like, I, I like this. It's it's good. I think the level design is really nice. I definitely feel as though we could probably have a little bit better uh, speed. Like, it needs speed. Like, the jumping, I feel like, could be a little stronger. But if we have a little increased speed, maybe it wouldn't be such a big deal. Um, the sleep paralysis scenes, I felt, were a little bit long-winded. Um... And I think it's just because there's nothing going on except for you're in the room, it's red, and the guy's talking. Uh, the volume for his voice is a little bit loud. It sounds like he's kind of yelling at me, but he's not. He's just really loud. Uh, I, I think what would maybe be like a cool kind of addition would be like, what if you had like the room kind of like reverberate a little bit, you know, uh, to make it sound like it's actually a voice in your head or something as opposed to the room talking so I don't know, I don't know it's just a, just a thought just an idea overall good time I enjoyed it uh, the link is in the description if you'd like to try the demo out for yourself if you like it please wishlist it and thanks for watching